what's up everybody so in this video I'm going to talk to you about WordPress whether or not you should learn it if you're gonna learn it how you should learn it and how it stacks up against just learning web development as a whole so first let me tell you a story about when I was younger when I was a kid uh, I learned WordPress the very basics of it basically didn't learn it I just figured out how to do like a one-click install on a shared hosting plan from like iPage or GoDaddy whatever it was and very quickly just kind of threw together a pre-made theme and slapped some text on there with the logo and I sold it I sold several of those websites and I made some money as a freelancer doing that kind of thing and it was great because I was making money, but at the same time, I was kind of holding myself back from learning how to code because WordPress can abstract that stuff away from you where it's all you know plug and play, drag and drop. Well, in my opinion, if you're going to learn WordPress, you should definitely learn how to code alongside it, or you should learn how to code first and then come back to WordPress, and here's why. If you know coding languages like PHP, which WordPress is built on, then you know how you can learn very easily how WordPress works from the inside out and if you run into problems you can better debug those issues and fix them without having to pay somebody else or without having a completely broken website that takes you hours and hours to fix or maybe you never fix it and you know your customer is super mad at you or whatever I'm not saying that's happened to me but um, so anyway if you're gonna learn WordPress there's the wordpress.org codex where they have all this free information about how to you know download and install and all the different syntax and basically anything you could want for learning WordPress and of course it like I said you're gonna wanna learn PHP so there's a bunch of websites out there where you can learn PHP for free uh, you're gonna wanna learn HTML and CSS and a little bit of JavaScript all that stuff is free on the internet if you're the kind of person that doesn't wanna go scouring the web for free tutorials that's fine I get that there are options for people that want a structured course so like on Udemy for instance there's become a WordPress developer unlocking power with code and this guy Brad Schiff with his 4.7 star rated course will teach you PHP JavaScript WordPress theming so how to build a theme uh, the rest API and how to create custom and interactive WordPress websites so that's pretty cool uh, if you have $11 and you know 30 days to try it out they have a 30 day money back guarantee so you can test it out see if it's you know the type of course that you can benefit from if not you know get your money back if that's something that interests you I've got a link for it in the description below uh, there are other options though you can learn web development from scratch and then you can come back and you can learn you know WordPress later on so if you're gonna do something like that you know there's tons of web development courses on Udemy all of them are not all of them but a lot of them are high rated so there's people like Rob Percival and Colt Steele and some uh, new up-and-comers who are producing courses that you know they've got some pretty good reviews so they're worth checking out and of course 30-day money-back guarantee so you can just spend the $11 and then it, after you know 29 days or whatever if it's not for you you just get your money back so um, of course I would recommend Cold Steel's Web Developer Bootcamp over all the other courses mainly because with his course you get my support and the other TA's Arco support so we're every day we're answering questions uh, we answer pretty much all questions that are related to the curriculum to the exercises and to the course and so if you have problems with the course then we're right there to help you within 24 or 48 hours in terms of Colt's course you're not gonna learn PHP uh, Colt's kind of anti PHP he's gonna teach you what's the latest and greatest and uh, right now even when he made this course a couple years ago it was node and it still is node for, for the most part there's some competitors out there and that's not to say that PHP isn't alive and well because it is uh, it's all over the place and it's still being used by a ton of different websites um, so I'm not going to really get into that argument right now but if you want to learn a server-side scripting language or if you want to learn something like node that you can build you know really robust custom applications with while also learning the you know trendy of the front end HTML CSS and JavaScript then the Web Developer Bootcamp is definitely the course for you. And of course, if you find out that it's not, just get your money back. Um, so that's pretty much it in terms of recommendations for courses. I will talk a little bit more about WordPress, um, some do's and don'ts if you are going to go that route. So 
if you're gonna learn WordPress, learn it through and through, learn PHP, learn JavaScript, because the problem with WordPress can be, if you need a feature, sure there's probably a plugin out there because the community is huge, there's a lot of developers making you know, these open source plugins for the platform, but the problem is some of the plugins aren't very good, some of them have security exploits, even if they are good, the whole ecosystem is constantly updating, and so if a plugin isn't compatible with the latest version of WordPress, then things can break, uh, like I mentioned before, and you can run into a lot of problems there. So if you're gonna learn it, just go 100% on it. Take the time, find the resources, and learn it through and through so that you're building good WordPress websites that are gonna be stable and aren't gonna fall apart. That's kind of why I moved away from WordPress. I had some bigger clients that I ended up taking their websites after years and years and years of using WordPress and I switched to a different platform. In fact, uh, I have a developer friend of mine who I teamed up with and we redid two of those websites with PHP using the Laravel MVC framework. And so, um, like I said, PHP is alive and well. You can still build a lot of really cool stuff with it. So. You know, I'm not going to get into that argument of you know who's better or whatever Node, PHP, or Ruby or Python or whatever. It's just kind of a uh, right tool for the job sort of thing. So anyway, I uh, definitely encourage you to learn, go one of these routes. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer. And of course, if you've had experience with any of these and you want to you know share that with the rest of us, go ahead and comment below and any of the courses that I just showed you above, the links are gonna be in the description. Uh, that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.